I'm going to show you how I started selling shirts on Amazon Merch Demand with no experience and generated over $300,000 in royalties and counting. Hey there, my name is RJ Martinez and today we're gonna to be talking about how you can sell t-shirts on Amazon with no prior experience. This method is very simple and anyone can do it. All you need is a computer and some internet connection. So if you're ready, let's get started. Selling on Amazon with no investment is a tricky business without the proper guidelines it's not easy to earn your very first dollar so if you want to earn money selling t-shirts on Amazon you want to make sure you watch this video to the very end it's possible to start and grow a successful online t-shirt business on Amazon without any prior experience I'm going to share with you the exact steps I took just to do that I'll show you how to find a great product to sell get your business set up on Amazon and start generating sales so here are some of the most important steps that you need to follow the first step is to set up an Amazon merch on demand account if you don't have one already you can sign up for an account here at merch amazon.com and one of the most important things is to make sure that you fill out all the information if you haven't signed up yet make sure you don't leave nothing blank okay one of the most important things is Amazon wants to see that you have design experience they will love to see you fill out that website part of the section where it says website and they want to see your portfolio okay they they want serious people to be on the platform once you set up your account, you need to set up the payment information and fill out everything that it asks you, okay? It's gonna take you through the whole process, so make sure you do this correctly. And it's not easy to get accepted on Amazon Merch On Demand. A lot of people message me to this very day, okay, that they cannot get accepted, okay? When it comes to this type of stuff, they're very weird about letting certain people into the platform. You have to apply, and then once you get approved, it can take anywhere between three months, two weeks, a year okay me personally it took me about three months to finally get my account approved I had before that I was doing Amazon FBA so I was selling products on Amazon already but it took me three months to get approved for Amazon merch on demand it seems like they take in consideration if you have if you have an Amazon FBA account um, this seems to be a plus for them because they see that you have knowledge of the platform once you get approved congratulations that's a freaking awesome opportunity if you're not taking advantage of that make sure you're doing so when I first started I uploaded a few designs and I didn't take advantage of it for like a whole year and then I seen the opportunity of you know the power of print on demand and learned about it and then I started turning it into a full-time income and this is where I'm at right now what I recommend when you first start, just create a design, okay? It can be a simple text-based design. Get it up and just get understand the process. But you wanna learn how trademarks and copyrights work, okay? You cannot upload a Harry Potter design. You cannot upload a Coca-Cola. You can't upload an NBA design. You have to understand and learn you know what type of designs you can upload onto the platform that's important and you want to watch this video right here where i go into more detail about how to get accepted on amazon merch on demand number two is search the trending niches you want to find a good niche that's trending to do this you there's a few different free ways that you can obviously search for trends you can use google trends simply type in a few different interests like dogs cat sports like hobbies and stuff like that like baseball football basketball okay um now you just have to be careful with certain obviously certain brands and certain teams you can't do like the los angeles lakers unless you have the rights to it okay so you can't create designs like that so you, you want to make sure that you understand this as you're doing your research you'll see other people that are breaking the rules on the platform don't be like them okay because they're not going to have their account very long just because they're making sales against the rules making sales against the rules it's not okay to do that you want to make sure that you understand what type of designs that you can create before you upload them to the platform you can use the amazon search bar okay typing in certain like certain keywords into the search bar you'll see that there's a BSR, a bestseller rank. Okay, you're gonna see stuff like this on the platform where it's basically that shows you the demand of a certain product and how it's selling. One of the best tools that you can use is Merchant Farmer. Okay, this is a pay tool. They have a seven day free trial. Link is gonna be down below in the description. Okay, make sure you use my coupon code. I get a little kickback from that by the way, um, but there's, there's some really awesome tools in there that will help you do research, but if you don't want to do any use any paid tools at this time and point, you can use Google Trends and the Amazon search bar for free. One of the things that I like to use is MerchResearch.com. I'll just go over to MerchResearch.com, leave everything blank, hit that search bar, and then I'll come over 
to amazon.com and then I'll filter it by the newest arrivals and then I'll look for a BSR. Uh, I'll look for a BSR on, on new products uploaded to see if there's a demand for certain niches, okay? And you'll see some of these designs will be uploaded within, you know, a day, two days, three days ago, and they'll have a sell, okay? And, and you'll see like some of them will have a low BSR because you'll catch certain trends or certain sayings that are happening in the world with current events or political things. Um, one of the big ones was, you know, like women's rights and stuff like that, that recently just just uh, happened in the world, right? It's a big topic recently. Um, and that whole niche just went crazy, right? And there was a ton of people that were making a lot of money with certain designs, which is crazy. And if you're getting value out of this video, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, please. I really appreciate it. And I have a question for you. What is the biggest challenge for you as an individual when it comes to Amazon Merch On Demand? Leave a comment down below and I'll answer it for you. Design your own t-shirt artwork. Remember, research is king, the design comes next. So you wanna make sure that you have your research down and understand you know, what your target customer wants. So designing your t-shirt, if you're not a designer, don't worry, okay, it's okay. I'm not a designer neither. And I still crush it when it comes to Amazon Merch On Demand. There are several different tools out there that'll make it easier for you to create a design. And it looks professional and no one would ever even know. There's canva.com, there's Merch Informer. Merch Informer has an awesome design tool on the back end. And they have illustrations that they release to you every single month, which is really, really awesome. And then if you wanna use like a like some type of design software tool, there's GIMP, okay? That is a free option, okay, that you can download. When I first started making designs and stuff like that, I tried to download GIMP in my computer, it just crashed. So the cool thing about Canva and Merch Informer that those are web browsers tools as long as you can open up google chrome or whatever uh, internet browser that you're using as long as you can open it up you can use those tools and remember it can be a simple text-based design it doesn't have to be anything crazy um, once you created your design it's time to upload next is setting up your listing on amazon this is where your potential customer will go learn more about your product and to decide whether if they want to buy it or not so to create your listing you're gonna need the brand, the title, the two bullet points, and description. So you can see how important this is already. Now with the brand, if you're not putting everything under one brand, what I recommend is to put one long tail keyword related to your niche in the brand. Now it's important that you do your keyword research and I like to do my keyword research personally when I'm doing research for the actual design or for that niche. Number two is the title. I like to put two long tail keywords in the title because each long tail keyword is gonna bring me a search volume to my listing. So we have one in the brand and then we have two more in the title okay long tail keywords are basically two or more keywords together so funny dabbing monkey that's three keywords together that's a long tail keyword okay so I'll, in the title I'll put one long tail keyword and then another long tail keyword and it's like playing Tetris all right you're gonna try to have to fit these keywords into your listing to optimize it to get more traffic to your product now bullet point one you can use two to three long tail keywords here okay related to your niche bullet point two you can use two to three long tail keywords here related to your niche now with a description you want to make it searchable for google okay and this is basically just putting long tail keywords how a customer would search on google for a product or you can copy bullet point one and bullet point two and put it in the description if you want to save a little bit more time but when it comes to keywords, you wanna understand how important this is because this is what's gonna drive the sales to your product and it's gonna help you make more money. Do not skip this part, okay? And I know this is one of the, like, you know, the last parts as far as, you know, optimizing everything, getting everything going and getting your design live, but this is one of the most important parts to creating a successful business online. Your keywords are important because they'll help potential customers find your listing when they're searching for your product. So when trying to find the right keywords for your listing, just think about how the customer would search to find your product. That's one way. Now you have it all done. You have it all, you know, figured out with your keywords and stuff like that. It's all pretty. Uh, next is pricing. Pricing low, you're going to make more sales. Okay. Um, but you're not going to make no profit, but you're going to rank your product, which is a good thing, right? When it comes to selling on Amazon, because once you start to rank your product, it's pretty much set for life. Now, it's up to you when it comes to this. I'm not going to tell you you should do this or you should do that. I price my shirts, standard t-shirts at $19.99 so I can make a $5 royalty. Um, 
I know people that price them to the market. So if their competition's at $6.99 or $17.99, that's what they price it at because they want to be competitive with the pricing of their product, right? And it makes sense too as well because that's what a customer looks for sometimes when they see a design, they're like, oh, this product is only $16.99. I'm going to save $3 or $4, right? Next is promoting your t-shirt listing. There are a number of ways to do this but one of the most effective ways is promoting it through Amazon ads. This allows you to pay for your product to be displayed in the Amazon search results and other pages on Amazon. And if you do not have access to Amazon ads yet, another great way is to promote through social media, building a fan page on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, okay, and promote your designs. This takes a little bit of work, but it's all worth it at the end if you just decide to not do Amazon merch and you want to create your own website like on a Shopify or WordPress and promote your designs and your content to your audience. Or even if you just want to do both, right? Because you can promote to, you know, your social media audience and then run Amazon ads. It's a win-win situation and you're bringing in double the traffic to your design, which in return, that means more sales. Next is you want to put a workflow in place for yourself when it comes to this to stay on top of your performance of your designs. If you're growing your business, you want to make sure that you're starting to tear up, uploading designs consistently, holding yourself accountable, and this is gonna help you grow your business to that level there where you wanna be at, okay? This is very, very crucial to maintaining a consistent stream of income with Amazon Merch On Demand. And then once you start to get there, you know, obviously maintaining your ads and making sure that you're getting consistent sales and you're in the profit, all this stuff, there's a lot that goes on after you start to make sales and make money online. You have to maintain it, okay? That is the hard part when it comes to any of this. Creating a design is easy, you know? Uploading it is easy, but maintaining and making sure that you have consistent sales on the platform is very hard. Once you start to make more and more money, you wanna make sure that you're reinvesting it to help it grow even more. You have to follow all these steps. This is not gonna happen overnight. It takes hard work consistency and patience. So if you want to learn how I grew my business to over $200,000 in royalties all time, check this video out right here. And if you have any questions, comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. Peace.